Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Last time we found another intersection, cleared it, kept exploring, found a little barn, cleared it. And that was really it. Not the greatest, but, you know, exploring is always fun and there's always something new to see. But hopefully we'll find, you know, an engine, maybe. The path we're taking is pretty... pretty wide here. The thing is, I'm not going to be able, at least initially, to kind of shortcut my way back home unless the water kind of curtails itself around here. So I'm left in kind of a weird position, do I... I have to find a way back, but I don't really want to make it through water. I'm infected, so I inevitably, if not treated, will die. I don't have antibiotics on me because, you know, never... Hmm. I never think that I'm going to need them. I might have to go back that road, depending on how this road pans out. I am both interested and a little perplexed. I'm hoping this is the right road and that one just... Nah, it's probably not gonna end. This road's likely the one that'll end. Oh! So I was wrong, this road doesn't... immediately stop. In fact, it led to a town. I'm not close enough, but there's a prison. That's neat. What else do we have here? Poppin' pills? Ah, that's not good. Getting back home is still gonna be tough. Alright, let's clear this zombie out. Get a secure chest placed. Oh, that that's not good. Well, we're gonna have to make do. I mean, we can make it out, that's the important part. I'll just have to remember on my way back home to grab the gas barrel and car batteries. Because I managed to find that better car battery in a random car. You know, the location you'd expect to find a car battery. Just bust this open. I I open the door for you. Goes to show you how weird the zombie AI is. You know what? I'm just gonna skip over all this. I'll loot it. I'll show you what I find at the end. So, here's all we got out of the poppin' pills. Not a lot worth really noting. First aid schematics. 
Stuff like that I can just sell when I get the opportunity, but... Oh, and the antibiotics were good because I was able to cure my infection. Hold up, need those. Those are my first aid kits. We're gonna skip this house and go straight to prison. Cause that's something you always want to hear. Now we gotta find the right entrance. Cause there's... There's a door you can enter. Beep beep. Why are the en why is the entrance pointed towards a field? Also, okay, so fancy house. Okay, that's a pig. Hey, oh no, never mind. Thought it was a theater or a nightclub. It's the Western House building. Conveniently not in, you know, a Western themed area. Because, you know, don't you just have buildings designed like this in your town next to, you know, contemporary housing and a very small prison? Like, this is just bad zoning. Need to get in, the zombies want me. Yeah, I know there's safes everywhere in this place. So it's gonna suck trying to clear all those out. from behind. Thought I had more time to get away. Okay, so we got you here. You're in here, so I don't really have to care too much. Might as well deal with these zombies since they're just standing here. Try to make this prison as zombie-free as possible. Oh yeah, corpse. What do you have? Nothing. Oh yeah, because I think I looted it as it fell. Gonna bust that open. Bust these doors. I do like the look of the prison. I think it's really cool. It's another one of those buildings I wish I could find, even at like an intersection, just so I could consider living in one. I mean, I've said it a million times, living in a town just always seems so dumb to me, since it messes with spawns and who really wants, you know, your loot spawns messed with more than they already get. I could go up there. I really- oh, I don't even need to mess with this one. Can I patch that back up? Cool. I don't really want to go up there because I think it's just a corpse. Yeah, and then, like, the bodies might have something, but the time it takes to bust these down makes it not really worthwhile, because it's so much effort. If I'm going to loot something, I'm going to loot in here.
But I do like the look of the prison. It's another cool building. Found one of these playing on my own time. I had really thought about living in it, but by the time I found it, I was around the same time frame as this playthrough. So it becomes a matter of, you know, I'm already very well established at a house. I don't really want to sit here and tear everything down just to go live in some place that looks a little bit cooler. How did you get in here? Oh, there's a doorway. It's just like The Walking Dead before the show became crap. Honestly, that's kind of sad how The Walking Dead went from a show I really, really enjoyed to a show that when I hear it's still on, I'm like, really? But I think the biggest problem was they went from like, interpersonal drama with zombies as, like, kind of a bigger portion of it to interpersonal drama and there might be a zombie in an episode. Like, the zombies need to hang around. They're kind of the... need to be the preeminent threat. If you remove them, then it just becomes a convoluted soap opera. You know what, I'm going to save my pick and bust open the safes. Okay, so I opened up all the safes and dropped off a bunch of junk, so we can just grab everything and go. Hunting rifle part, eh. Oh, actually, since I'm here quick... I'm swiping these lamps, or these, uh, spotlights. They'll look good in my house. Yeah, yeah, game, I got hypothermia. I'm wearing everything that gives me heat, and the game's still like, Ugh, you're cold. Ugh, you're wet, because it's apparently, like, sleet. It's not like I can make warmer clothing. I love how sometimes the game, you like, use the wrench like a wrench, and then this is like, oh, yeah, don't worry, you'll pick it up. Just beat the wrench against it enough, and it'll eventually just pop into your inventory. First time I ever did that, I got so worried. Because I was so used to the wrench animation that seeing it not do that, I was just thinking, did I break it? Am I going to just destroy this and get screwed out of the light I want? Yeah, I don't really care about the jail cells. It's... Maybe a toilet pistol, and then some corpses that might have ammo or a gun. Already got all that. Here's where the big money is. Shotgun stock, and... Actually, a lot of stuff. Almost an entire short shotgun. Pistol parts. It's not bad. quick assemble and disassemble it, that way I get all the ammo out of it. Okay, which direction do we have to go? That one. Okay. 
So you know what? Since we're here, since we still got some inventory space, we're gonna lightning round this house. Because I can. Oh, wait, that one's broken. Wanted to save my 600 stone axe because I don't have... I don't actually have my skill up to 600, as you can guess. What I do have is the ability... Not really the ability, I just take... Trying to think of how to describe this correctly. I take the workbench and I just feed axes into one axe until it's powerful. Really? You know what? I'm just gonna save myself the effort and chop through the wall. So we got that safe. Nothing else. So we'll quick bust this open. Alright, let's check this gun safe. And I mean, it's pistol parts. If I wanted to, I could pretty much retool that previous pistol. Nah. Don't you like that? You come into your basement, wood table, support pillars, toilet. Quick check this, even though I don't have the space, there's always... There's always hope it'll be something good. Bullet casings and cat food. That either sounds like the Wasteland's diet, like a Wastelander's diet, or you live in a crack den. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. You know, let's just take and disassemble some of these clo pieces of clothing. Ah, oh, don't tell me there's a gun safe up here. I don't see one. I see a box. A purse. Ah, yes. Painkillers that I found in this purse create a burlap sack bigger than the purse. Man, what are those zombies doing out there? I'm gonna have to go down and beat them. Alright, anything in here? No. Okay. Now I shall dispense with the beatings. Whoa, you're right here. Okay, you got some good stuff. Hold that thought. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't build here. With the perpetual rain, snow, and cold, I'd be hypothermic all the time. Just dump everything. I'm already going to need a second box. I mean, that's kind of good, because it means there's a lot of loot here. But also, I've gone through... Three buildings. Granted, one is a point, major point of interest, I would argue. 
What did you do to this house? This is what I hate about the zombie AI. But look at this! They, they're not like, oh, we'll just tear down the door. No, we'll tear down the walls surrounding the door. We'll tear down adjacent walls. You, turn around. I'm gonna bust your knees. Okay, now it's all nice and quiet. And now it is peaceful. So, we are going to call it here. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.